Okay, uh, another video, helpful video. Um, this is on the litter boxes and the pee pads and sort of pee checking. Um, again, I typically do this twice a day, sometime in the morning, you know, after breakfast and after filling up the kibble water bowls, do a quick uh, litter box and pee pad and look for any puddles that may be around uh, and typically do the same thing in the afternoon. And this really issue starts with Gus. Gus has got some, some health issues um, for stress and anxiety. He's on Prozac, so it helps. But when we're not home, he's likely to, you know, piddle in places he shouldn't. And then, of course, the other cats, they sometimes will follow up. I would also recommend that uh, your bag, any clothes you have, will have a bin sitting out front. And you may want to put your stuff in the bin because they, they'll likely try to claim you. And that means they'll mark your stuff if, if, uh, if you leave uh, clothes out on the floor. So keep your clothes up or, or use the bin. All right, first thing I'm going to do is um, the, uh, check the pee pads. See if any of those need to be replaced. Grab those. Uh, do the litter boxes and then we'll check for, the, for the, uh, any pee marking. So this will take a little bit, so it'll be a, a bit of a long video. But let me walk you through where the pee pads are. So I'll have them set up like this in common areas. So this one we do two, one on the bottom and one on the top. And if you look, there's these little magnets that will hold them up on the wall. So you just get them up and kind of put them on the trim and that takes care of that. So those pads are fine. And then we have some in the, what we call the, the cat room or the round room. And uh, you can see we have in there and over there and oh and there is one and it has actually been used so we'll grab that one and we'll check over here and that one's good and that one's good. So we just have this one bad one here. All right, so. All right, so we know, all right, so we got rid of the pee pad. Now I know when I go back in and I check for pee, I'm gonna bring one clean pee pad with me. Now I've got these bins set up for you to make life easier, so you just put any pee pads in there. Um, and I'll have a blue bin sitting out here too, a rubber bin. If any of these get filled, you can just start to use the, the blue pad. Now again, the garage won't look like this. It's the Christmas time if you haven't noticed. And um, we still have our decorations out. So this will all be back into storage. It'll be pretty open. But our litter boxes are over here. In the garage, we have this set of five, six actually. Um, and there's the scooper. So typically I take this bucket here and I scoop them. And there are another litter box there and another litter box there. And you can see that there's litter bags for additional litter as well. So I scoop those, you know, for their little presents and I put them in this bin right here. Uh, let me show you where two more litter boxes are in the house. And I'll explain why we have two types of litter. So in the, what we call the cat's bathroom, and again, I use this to do the lifting work here. So in this bathroom back here, we have this stool to help George and little B get up. We do have some litter boxes here. Again, they use the scoop and there's spare litter there. Now, you might have noticed that we have two types of litter. Uh, reason for that is one, that kind of litter doesn't track nearly as much and so it keeps the litter in the bathroom. Also, Ozzy has asthma. And so the more traditional, you know, clay type litter can cause him issues. And he seems to instinctively know to use the uh, other litter. That's the big pellet kind of, um, and that has really helped him out quite a bit. So that's the litter boxes, pretty straightforward. They're in the garage or in that bathroom. Scoop them up, 
put what's left in the uh, in the bin over there, the presents. All right, now it's the pee pad time. So we know we have to get one pee pad. There'll be plenty of pee pads out here to last the time we're gone. We just need one. I'm gonna go grab some tea spray and uh, some rags. There'll be more rags and plenty of pee spray for the, for the time. Grab that. And then what I'm going to do Grab the flashlights. And I'll have and I'll have them sitting here for you. And I do a quick look around to see if there's any pads. Well, I'm going to see if anybody's missed. It helps with the lights off. So nobody's uh, done any issues here. And you can see I'm just sort of looking in spots where it's where they pee up against, right? And we're all good here. Yep. Yeah. And same for kitchen real quick. Um, I doubt that we'll find any because I already did a check this morning. I found one. And I will point out where that area was. So just kind of looking along the walls. Nothing going on there. There. We're good. Good. I do check in this room for whatever reason sometimes along the edge of this carpet that there's no puddles are good there anything by the door did they miss any pee pads here Cause sometimes somebody just decides even though the pads there I'm gonna go elsewhere that's just water that spilled from the Water bowl, I'll clean that up later. All right, so boom. Nothing in here. And this bin will be out uh, by the front door. You can use that to store things you want in there. I'm not seeing any pee. Actually, if you look very carefully, it's hard to see on the camera, but it does look like somebody may have put something right there. So. It may have just been me spilling. I guess. All right. And then nothing here. Here. Now here is an area where I would expect to find something. Sometimes against this, these two cupboards are underneath here, but again, nothing. Nothing over here or here. And nothing here. So that's pretty good. Hi. And there's Teddy. Hey, Bear. It's a cold and rainy day. Everybody is sacked out. All right, so we're almost done. All righty. So, nothing in here. Nothing here. And there's Ozzy. Hi, Oz. Nothing in the back of the chair over here. And here's an area. Yeah, so right here, somebody did go right there. You can kind of see it. So that's a pretty... So just cleaning that off real quick. And we'll do a quick run upstairs. We'll swap out that pee pad. And we'll be good to go. So, nothing there, any sort of normal spots. Hey, there's Boo Boo. Boo Boo sleeping in the bed. Alrighty. And that, yeah, looks like somebody right there. It's kind of, let's see. Alrighty, now 
I just need to swap out that pee pad. So let's put the flashlight back. That one rag that we used, put back in. Pee pad, here it is. And like I said, holding the phone at the same time but there we go take this angle like that and we are good and that's that's it typically just do that you know at least once a day if not twice a day um and there you go